Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my new toy, the Steak Ager Pro 40. Now you may be asking yourself, Jax, what the heck is the Steak Ager Pro 40? Well, the Steak Ager Pro 40 is a dry aging slash curing cabinet that has a system in it that creates the perfect uh, microclimate or environment in order to dry age entire cut, subprimal cuts of beef, or it can allow you to cure charcuterie. So let's open the Steak Ager Pro 40 up and have a look inside. All right, for all you gram weenies and inch worms out there, we'll go ahead and do some measurements. Hey, no judgment. We got 17 and a half inches in width, about 32 and three quarters in height, and the depth here is about 18 inches on the outside. All right, so we'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, you start off here with some racks. These hold your uh, subprimals here. We got two of them. I think in some of the packages, they come with just one. This is your removable top rack here. This is for so you can hang. If you wanted to truss up your subprimal here, uh, you could hang it from here and not use those racks at all. Or you could use these two hold your charcuterie. So let, we'll go ahead and remove that. <clears throat> right now you'll see that there's this blue light. This is totally, you can turn this off. It's purely just for looks and it really, at night, it really looks cool. Yeah, I'll turn the light off so you can see. So back here in the back, you have two blowers and you have a fan up here. And all this works in concert with each other and it helps to move air all around the meat while wicking away all the moisture that's on the meat. Now you can't see it, but back here in this back area is an anti-germicidal UVC light that cycles on and off. And what that does is that'll help all that air that's circulating around there, it'll help clean all of that air. So not only is this temp adjustable, you can set it if you're into the Celsius thing or Fahrenheit, you can rotate between the two and change that but you can uh, raise and lower the temperature as I said already. It also comes with an app where you can monitor your progress here. Not sure if you can see that. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. But anyway, you can monitor your progress as the aging or curing process goes on. You can connect to it either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Now all the guts and computer stuff is all encased behind here. You're not gonna be able to see that but this thing is pretty easy to put together. I think it took me about three to four minutes to put this entire thing together, plug it in, and you're ready to go. Now, if you're not using this as uh, curing or aging, they also have some inserts that go in here, and you can use this as a beer fridge as well. You, you probably can't see it too, but they make an accessory that comes with this for charcuterie, which is a humidifier and whatnot and that goes up under here. I do have that on the way. It's on back order right now, so I can't really uh, get too much into that. And this right here is your shelf. This is where your subprimal cuts will sit in the rack. It'll sit on top of this, and of course this is removable as well. And then that humidifier uh, goes underneath here. And it is a little deceiving when you look at this online because I, it looks a lot smaller. And even in people's videos that I've watched, it looks a lot smaller, but this thing is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. So just make sure you, you, know, you check your measurements depending on where you want to put it in your house. They also make a stand for it as well. So like this would, I got it on something right now, but I'm thinking about getting a uh, stand. If my wife would only let me put it in the kitchen, it'd be perfect. Another thing I want to show you here, I, I went ahead and closed this up because we're letting all our cool air out. But this is another rack that goes in there and this is not as big as the other one. But it basically, it just fits in here like so and you can put it on any shelves and you could actually put a smaller cut in there and just set it in there without having to truss it up in your, your other racks. I don't know guys, I'm thinking we ought to make a trip to Costco and see if we can find us a uh, subprimal so we can truss it up. We're back from Costco, about ready to get this boneless ribeye. Now this is choice. I looked for prime, they didn't have prime. And let me tell you, the price on beef is crazy right now. Two twenty eighty six for this joker. And this is a 18.42. Trying to be careful opening this because I'm gonna try to 
keep all the blood in this package here. Not too much of a mess. I'm not patting this all the way dry. Just getting a little bit of the stuff off here like this so we don't have a big mess while we truss it up. We'll be back with you when we cleaned up here. All right, so we're about ready to start trussing this up. I've just tied a knot here on the end. I've ran it across here. Just wrapped it around twice and we're gonna go across to the other side, pull it tight, wrap it twice and then repeat over here. And now I do have, as you can see, this is fat side down. And just repeat until you get all the way to the end. And when I get to the end here, I'm just gonna cut it like so, pull it tight, and we'll just tie us a knot here. There's this little bar, and you just do that number there. And we are ready to put this in our Steak Ager Pro 40. All right, that looks good. So the plan here is to let this go 30 days. You can certainly go less if you want. I've done a 28 day age steak, a different method. You can check that video out here. It came out perfectly. You can certainly go over 30 days if you want. Uh, my buddy Russ Jones over at Smoky Ribs did a 45 day age. And I did consult him before I did this video and I asked him what his thoughts were on the 30 day age between that and the 45. And he did a 45 and there was way too much loss. And he said 30 days is what you wanna shoot for. So that's what I'm going with. Um, again, guys, if you wanna shoot for longer than that, uh, Grill Sergeant did one, I think 100 days. Uh, so you can go check him out as well. I'll leave links to where you can get one of these steak agers. I'll leave a link to Smoky Ribs if you wanna check out his video on this and also Grill Sergeant. All right, guys, until next time, the Steak Ager Pro 40, do it.